Welcome to Sounds Funny Radio, the completely improvised radio comedy show. <laughs> Today's episode featuring the voices of Mike Warner, Abby Hepworth, Florence Freebe, Sunny Outlaw, and I'm your host, James Quesada. Welcome to the show. Um, uh, who's got something? What? 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 Huh? Who's what got, kind of something? Who, I don't know. Who? Me? Anything? What? Who's got something? What do you want? Who's got something? <laughs> He's got pizza. I have. Yeah, I got pizza. Yeah, you got pizza. Yo, you know what? Yeah, your slice I, is still there. Yeah, last time I was here. Yeah, your slice is still there. <laughs> the last time I was here, I brought a pizza with veggie, and I swear, like James looked at me, and he's like, "Me no veggies." And, what? And I was like, <laughs> "Oh," and so I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna make a cheese pizza." For this time, so I and ran and did. rushed and to make it. And he still hasn't touched it. Yeah, and he's still... It's still yeah, warm. It's still wow. I'm so impressed. And he cares about the temperature. Yeah. Yeah. He it's said still that. Are we talking about me? Yeah. 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 I mean, First we of all... Be, we're razzing on you. Yeah. I... I <laughs> it's funny to me that, that that's your memory of <laughs> the conversation <laughs> Whoa, last time. Whoa, immediate yeah. dismissal of Sonny's memory. <laughs> <laughs> Just got gaslight Sonny. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Sonny. Oh. Shut up, Sonny. I think, I, think my, I think my question was last time... Time, um, whether you used marinara sauce because because of the toppings, to me uh, did not guarantee marinara. <laughs> I, I I was like, oh maybe maybe with like broccoli topping. What was it last time? It was broccoli, it was broccoli mushrooms, and bell pepper, which I get. You know, it's a veggie what other, pizza. What other sauce were you marinara marinara for? Well, so, sometimes you do like a white Wait, sauce did, or, yeah. or a pesto sauce, or, or uh, so you sauce. couldn't see the marinara. You couldn't confirm with your eyes. None of those mm. vegetables are red. But I think the was main the red part. On the pizza? <laughs> the main part is that he Wh- didn't want to eat the vegetables. Uh, the main part was the wall this, this between is where, James and this is where Sonny's <laughs> memory be- becomes questionable. No. <laughs> this is, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll listen back to it and see where I said, I'm not touching those vegetables. Cut, this is Cut to it the now. Record. <laughs> Actually, Sonny, sorry. I, I was also uh, running around. Um, uh, first of all, thank you for bringing the pizza. Oh, yeah. It's my signature dish of broccoli, bell peppers, and mushrooms. It's veggie. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Does it have red sauce on it? Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I just always, you know what? I need to start saying red sauce and cheese because people, I, I just would assume that people would think red sauce and cheese. Well, my friend, pizza. if a pizza comes with no red sauce and cheese, then it's focaccia. If you lead with broccoli, I, 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 the, my, my marinara assumption goes out the window. Really? Uh, but truly, thank you for, for bringing it in. Thank you. I am honored. Yeah, and, and, and I mean, it, it sounded like it was a hit. What the, uh, Florence said that the, uh, what were the things you complimented, Florence? That's so hard to repeat. <laughs> That's true. Oh, it, it was, was the crust. It was compliment. both, it was crispy, chewy, had flavor. It had a nice, uh, like, burn to it, actually, but mm-hmm. not too yeah. much to take mm-hmm. over the flavor. Mm-hmm. The sauce had depth. It was sweet, mm-hmm. salty, strong enough. And there's a good ratio of, so- of sauce to the crust. And then the cheese wasn't too overpowering. It was just enough. And he added some depth to the sauce with some cumin, which I asked if it was turmeric, but he said it was cumin, which was an extra added punch. What you got to, like, commend Florence on, like, the palate, the fact that you even, like, could... Like taste the cumin enough to know that it was Something. maybe turmeric. Yeah. It's beyond crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I didn't impressive. taste any of that. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was good. It was Sunny good. Made the pizza. Didn't for taste me. any of that. <laughs> and in any case, high praise. That was mm-hmm. quite a uh, list of compliments. So kudos, <sighs> Sunny. Um, I'll never know how much it lines up with my palate because I'm not fucking touching it. Yeah. <laughs> There's uh, one slice. <laughs> yeah, a mere 10 feet from you. Th- thank you again, Sonny. And um, uh, uh, th- oh. we are going to kick off round number one of the show uh, with a round of games. So um, it, it, it's we, what we've decided to do is, is start each episode with uh, a little bit of an, of an experiment or a first time run of a game. So um, what what I asked everyone to do for this episode is uh, send me um, a few sentences that could be used as dialogue in improvised scenes. So uh, what I did was uh, once everybody sent me those, I uh, wrote them down on slips of paper and I put them in envelopes um, and I put, you know, uh, each, each of you, um, all of your dialogue uh, uh, sentences are in one of those envelopes. And then I uh, had each of you blind draw them um, at the top of the, uh, before we, we 
kicked off the uh, top of the episode. So um, now what we're going to do um, is just uh, two two runs of a game just called simply Sentences, where um, you're going to be improvising a scene, and anytime I ring the bell, you will draw a slip from your collection of, of sentences, uh, and that will be your next line of dialogue to insert into the into the scene. And we'll have a little bit of fun at the uh, end of it once we've done both uh, rounds. Um, you, you'll guess who <laughs> in the group wrote your sentences. <gasps> oh, we have a so, single person in yeah, our envelope? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your envelope has sent it all. So who, so are you included in that group? Because there no. were five envelopes. Oh, yeah, I know, but one of them was empty, and I was just, I, honestly, I was really <laughs> pleasantly surprised that none of you drew it. <laughs> wow, he's a trickster. A he's a real liar. decoy. If James you draw that one, you, you don't participate in the game. He's a fraud. You opt out. What a trickster. Um, trickster for kids. But but I did, Demo. so you you all uh, emailed me, but I wrote, I hand wrote them, so all you can, you also can't guess based on, uh, I know. <laughs> Uh, with love, um, and then I go, oh fuck, I can't. There's little hearts over the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But how's you, your you, handwriting? You, you Are we gonna be able to, able to read it? it? I think it's good, okay. but um, <laughs> you uh, won't be able to guess based on handwriting. Anywho, mm -hmm. um, okay. I thought so, mine were all blank, but I realized they're folded in half. Yes, oh. I got yeah. very nervous. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> Maybe it's just I, sh I should have made that's what the, that's what the what the fifth envelope should have been is it's is just, just an envelope full of blank slips. Yep. Oh. And uh, and whoever convinces the rest of the group that you had actual <laughs> sentences oh, written wow. down, you just created gets a, new a game. bonus point. I know, and I yeah, and we'll, the uh, listeners yeah, heard it live. Guess, like, <laughs> so for the first run of this game, uh, we're gonna have Mike and Florence <gasps> improvise a scene. And um, uh, once again, just anytime the bell rings, draw one of the slips, and that will be, uh, you'll be charged with inserting that line of dialogue into the scene and uh, justifying however you will. Um, and to get you started, your suggestion from our friend randomwordgenerator.com is chocolate. Your suggestion is chocolate. Lights up. I had way too much. I think I'd, I think I just had way too much Snickers. Oh, mm. Halloween was a success, but now the failure is is right over my shoulder. God, you had a lot of Snickers in your bucket. <laughs> well, yeah, I specifically asked for Snickers every door. <gasps> if they didn't have it, you, that's why it took me Look so long. Look at mine. I have Lindor, Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli, and never in a million years would I ever expect to run into you here. <laughs> And that's the beauty of friendship. That's the beauty of friendship. And probably living in a small neighborhood. It happens. Yeah. Oh, no, I was saying that was the name of the candy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that label is beautifully Isn't it written. Isn't gorgeous? It's, it looks like a handwritten. Uh, what do they hire people for at weddings? Calligraphy. Calligrapher. Yeah. It lo and it looks completely incredible. readable, which is crazy for... Huh. Okay? No, no, but like... I need the credit card points. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to leave why. that to bed. Okay. All oh, right. Look, you buy a thousand Snickers, you get a flight to Hawaii. That's where I want to go. Oh. Oh, for a second, I thought you were... Look... I thought you were... <laughs> for a second, I thought you were... I didn't know it could be this easy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Reward systems were the single smartest thing any credit card company I mean, could have set 5, up. I mean, 5,000 miles just for... S just... Uh, 5,000 miles just for waiting until you see what's inside. Which is... It's like a big old mystery grab bag. It's, a, it's a big old mystery grab bag. <laughs> uh, old ladies are not a monolith. <laughs> I learned that from you. Thank you for reminding me. I needed to hear that. No problem at all, Mrs. Tasker. That. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. It's so weird. Could I, you I, call I... me M Mom instead? Oh, <laughs> because, because, call me crazy, but I want to see where this goes. <laughs> okay, time to let it out. I ran away from home. I ran away from home three, three. I gotta come up with new material since I'm not broke anymore. You're a kid, no? Yeah. You're a kid. With an allowance. With an allowance. 
wow. my life changed drastically in the last few months. Wow. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Scene. Oh, Great. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> what? That is very. Strange. I think we all want to see where this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call me crazy. Uh, 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 call me mom and call, call me crazy. Because I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this goes. Oh, man. <laughs> Old ladies are not a monolith. I think it's pretty great. I still have yeah. so many. Yeah. I, I know. Say. Maybe we'll maybe we'll use them. Um... I'm just gonna take out a handful preemptively. Yeah, we, go for it. There's like the other half in here. I'll hold on to it. Well, yeah, we had to give ten. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, I didn't know how random, random, uh, rapid fire I was going to make these. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to have lots of options, that's all. Um, and, uh, yeah, excellent job. Um, super fun. Uh, yeah, and uh, now Abby and Sonny, of course, will do the same thing with their batch of sentences. And um, having them at the ready is probably good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, new suggestion for y'all. Um, in your round of sentences, your suggestion is donor, donor lights up. Um, yeah. So I, I just thought it was really, really important that I donate bone marrow because it's, you know, it's sometimes if you're a match that can really make, that can really make the difference for someone. Yeah. And I'm glad you're doing it for me. I'm yeah. not someone. Yeah. You're that? I'm that someone, yeah. You're that someone? I know I'm also the guy that's taking all your information down. Oh my god. But I, I, I'm, I'm both, in I, this case, the doctor and the patient. I, I, did, I didn't expect to... I didn't expect to meet you. And you know what? They got the decoy family. You're my real family. You, this is family uh, here. I, uh, yeah. As a doctor, I have to... Con- keep control of my emotions, but I just want you to know if I was in a world where I could freely express, I'd be crying right now. There would be, uh, there would be, I will make sure you're adopted. If you don't like that, that decoy ass family of yours, I will adopt you into my own. You would do that? You would do that for the person giving you bone marrow? Yeah, because you know what? My family's never given me shit. They're a decoy family too? Yeah, in a lot of ways you can. My father... Yeah. My father yeah. was was like baby teeth all over again, but the teeth coming in were adult sized. Oh my god! So it what was a, like what a hard fought childhood. It was a hard fought childhood because it was like I'm supposed to be losing something, uh-huh. but I didn't realize what was coming in like was gonna be so big. Dude. So it was like it's horrifying. It was horrifying because this this gaping hole of depression was being f- just over. Filled with pain. adult teeth. You know what? That that really reminds me <sighs> that that the Jets are going to win the Super Bowl this year. I feel like if we could find our families, that the Jets could win the Super Bowl this year. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I have I hope. Don't, I don't see you any more reason to delay this. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. Um. Bef- before we do, did you uh-huh. tell him you have a? giant slug inside of you? Oh, was I, was I supposed to disclose that to the nurse? Uh, I didn't know if it was relevant, because I didn't know if it related to my bone marrow. <laughs> but, you know, you're, you're so right. This is the best day of my life. I just... <sighs> because you know why it's going to be even better? Why? It's good to read. <laughs> You got you got pamphlets? Oh, I got pamphlets. Oh man! And this really only, is the best day of my life. Yeah, and I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get not only get that bow marrow out yeah. of you, I'm gonna get that slug inside of you. I mean, I don't I kinda we've gotten we've got like a symbiotic thing going on, you know? Cause like if I was being nice to you, then I then you'd know I didn't like you. Wait, what? You've been nice to me this whole time. <laughs> 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 Great. You're right. Awesome. It's from Star oh. Trek, the slug thing. What? They have a symbiotic relationship. The oh my slug. god, I didn't know oh. that. You got it. Oh, <laughs> That's no. what I was about. I have Star Trek just inside <laughs> yeah. of me, and I yeah, didn't yeah. even know. <laughs> oh man. I was like, oh, it makes Good me god. and the slug. Yeah. Yeah. We are one. Awesome. Okay, so so we have um, uh, what was it? Uh, scene one was um, ha- Halloween uh, candy and chocolates. 
Um, and then mom romance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> scene two at the <laughs> doctor's office uh, for the bone marrow transplant. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, anybody have a an immediate guess at who who wrote their dialogue? Wait, I gotta reread them. I think mine was my corner. What's your envelope number? Number one. I. I think mine. Oh shit! What was mine? Who's mine? I feel like it could have been Abby. What's what's your envelope number? Two. I gotta write these down. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> right you He's a fraud. I, you don't have an fraud. answer key. No, I do. I do. I just. I don't. Do I'm, not, I'm not. keeping track of what your guesses are. If we recognize this, to ours? me, the statement "old ladies are not a monolith." I don't know why, but that that ring is like Florence. My, my three. Would, that would be my guess. I'm three. Okay, let me back up. Uh, uh, Mike saying uh, three, but Sunny, what, what was your guess? Um, Mine was Mike Wonder for one. Or sorry, sorry. Um, uh, Mike, Mike, you said Florence. Yes. Sorry. Uh, uh, Do Mike, we have to agree as like a group, or can I also say? No. Mike? Yeah. You you can guess. Uh, you you can think you have someone that was already guessed. Um, and uh, yeah, Sunny thinks Mike is what I was going to say. Uh, and then um, we also had Florence guess. I think mine is Abby. Florence thinks Abby. <laughs> This Look at them ridiculous. shoulders. Uh, and then um, Abby thinks. I think I have Mike. Mike, the, I have four. This is an in but I, I, the way the way that I'm trying Extra to keep track of this makes zero sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a fraud. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let me let me just, let me just start with uh, with, with the slug with, inside with, with, with me Mike. thinks it's Mike, sunny though. Mike guessed that <laughs> that he has Florence's <laughs> envelope. Correct. <laughs> And what number is your envelope? Three. Um, okay. Are you just going to say if we're right or wrong? <laughs> I don't we know. can. We yeah, know we who get has a second envelope. guess I, after like a I, second we, round. Cue the Jeopardy no, music. We this think is. this through. No, no, no. Because I know who has my envelope. <laughs> of course Wait, you do. I know so, oh, yeah, yeah. so I can reveal. Oh, let's Does do that it that make way. Sense? <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is makes Try way more sense than whatever I'm trying to do. Can we just all just like let us? Okay, okay, okay. Mike, we... Mike, Mike guessed Florence for his envelope. Uh, it, Florence, is Mike right? <laughs> okay, great. Abby guessed uh, Mike for her envelope. Is uh, Abby right? <laughs> no! The slug guessed Sunny. The what? The slug inside of me guessed Sunny. <laughs> Oh, you guessed Sunny first. Was your first guess? Or? No, the slug. The slug. What, what are you talking about? It's character from... <laughs> what are you it's saying? It's a callback, James! I, 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 I'm, I'm oh, destroying my brain as we speak. I cannot follow you're you. You're symbiotic oh. <laughs> with the slug, so it's speaking <laughs> through Abby. Got it. Yeah. And, the, and, and the slug said what? Sunny. <laughs> the slug said Sunny. Okay, I don't. Why would I give Abby a second guess? <laughs> oh yeah, Flo Flo Florence, Florence. What your your guess? I your guess was Abby was your I album, right? I said Abby. <laughs> uh, Abby is Florence, right? No. no. no! <laughs> Great. Wait, uh, and then Sunny's guess was Wait. Mike, right? I was, yeah, it was Mike. Okay, Mike is Sunny, right? <laughs> what? Wait, how did we all get it wrong? <laughs> I don't know. And what have we learned? So, so that there's another. Then we don't know each other very well. <laughs> you're a fraud, and you're making us into is, fraud. Wait, is mine know. Mike? James made all of them. Whoa! Up. I just assumed you wouldn't give me the lines from the. Person. Oh, but we picked. But right? then oh, he forgot. Down. James oh, doesn't right. know. No, I don't know <laughs> lines. He forgot. He has no this idea what's going on was here. Was chaos. Um, yeah, this was chaos. <laughs> but wait. So this now, so now, now, uh, oh my God. now we'll go around and just say who you, who, you, whose lines you actually gave. Mike, who had your envelope? Uh, you... Florence, yeah. Florence oh. had my envelope. Oh. Okay, yeah. Cool. <laughs> what are we doing? And then what Abby, we... Abby, who had your envelope? Uh, uh, Mike had my... Uh, old ladies are not a monolith. A monolith and line. I learned that from you is something that Brian said to me three days ago. <laughs> Amazing. Um, um, and what then does that mean? I like anybody need, can be an old I lady? need the credit card points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I forget yeah. what else was... Mike. I don't want to reveal anything that we didn't already use. Oh, true. There's some fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, and then Florence. Florence, who had your envelope? Uh, uh, you. <laughs> you mean? Oh, Sunny. Wow. Sunny. 
Yeah, because of the slug inside of you. Oh, yeah. Because I watched Star Trek, and they did have a symbiotic relationship. And the guy was like, you're going to tell me you have a big slug inside of you? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then finally, Sonny, who, who's... Abby had mine. Yeah. Because this, this I had... Just crazy. My second guess was yeah. right. Because yeah. deco- I was watching an episode of Rick and Morty, and also oh I, the God, night before, yes. the decoy family, and the then I also family. watch a lot of sports radio for the Jets. All right? Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been a uh, fun, albeit meandering road. <laughs> I think it's a keeper. <laughs> I think this yeah. is a winner. Yeah. Edit I love this. it. Um, okay, great. So... Uh, no uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. First run of the of the sentences guessing game <laughs> on this the book. This is books. one TikTok Success. clip. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I can't believe it, but <laughs> I see how the other one. Remember how we yeah, said we yeah. were going to keep round one short? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> You're listening to Sounds Funny Radio, and you're thinking, sure, this sounds funny as fuck, but does it look funny too? That's correct. You're a smarty pants. Subscribe to us on YouTube to watch full-length video episodes of the show, and follow us on YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and TikTok for more video content of us fucking around and stuff. Not satisfied? Become a Patreon and get truckloads of bonus content. Bonus content! Bonus, bonus content, content! Of alternate show formats, additional games, and segments that were too sexy to put on the air. Sexy not guaranteed. Still not satisfied? Go to soundsfunny.pizza. We couldn't afford.com. And check out our calendar of show dates live on stage in New York City and beyond. Don't be a piece of shit. Come see us live. And now, back to the show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to round two of the show. Oh, we are going to switch things up for this episode. Uh, typically, what we do is we have a voicemail from an audience um, that uh, we, we uh, improvise scenes inspired by. Um, but we've been workshopping this uh, thing we call telephone game. And so our second round here is going to be telephone game. Uh, and it's going to be a series of phone calls between characters. Um, and that's really that's really the whole explanation. That's the summary of the thing. It's, it's just a, a series and a relay of uh, calls between ca- characters. Um, and uh, for this, me and co-producer Raul Magyar have Woo-hoo. joined in on... The uh, the fun or uh, join the cast for round two here. <laughs> uh, go to YouTube and and look at our video <laughs> for all the jazz hands, <laughs> uh, the spectacular jazz hands. Um, so uh, yeah, th- that's really how it works. And when we do telephone game, um, we we do it with uh, with no suggestion. We just uh, we take a beat of silence, and then. Um, uh, Somebody will just initiate with a hello, and we'll find out who's on the other line, and then uh, build a whole world of phone calls from there. The only other variable that we have in the mix is in round number one, we had our sentences um, that we used in, a, in our game, and we have a bunch of those left over. So we divvied those up between the six of us, and uh, we each have uh, a pocket of some um, wild card uh, sentences Um Oh. That, that we can use at any time throughout the telephone game. I accidentally threw my one that I did read out loud in my envelope. <laughs> oh, I took them out. Oh. Yeah, mine they're out. not in the mix anymore. Out. Wow, that was... Happy yeah. to the rescue. That was hep worthy of yeah. you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great. Okay, so um, to get things wow. started, we'll just uh, we'll take a beat of silence and uh, lights up on the first hello. <laughs> hello? Um, hey... Did you borrow my headlamp? Uh, yes, 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 I did. Mm, yeah, I, I kind of really, I really need it. I'm going on that big trip tomorrow, and I, I'm going through my checklist. And are you gonna, are you gonna be back later? Uh, yeah, I'll be back at some point later. I'm not sure. I'm currently following a meteor. Um, it's, I'm in the woods. It's dark. Uh huh. Ergo, headlamp. So like by later, I think I meant like later tonight. Is that the later that you also mean? Uh, when you say later? Yeah. Like, look, you think this I, easier thing is going to wrap up? 
I really, before, I couldn't tell like, you. I don't know, one or two? Could not tell you. I have Ballpark? no idea. This is the first time I've ever chasing a meteor. I have yeah. no idea how long it takes. Uh-huh. Um, but I would say maybe by one. Yeah, okay. Which woods are you in? Because maybe I could just come get it from you. No, I'll just come to you. How about I do that? Uh, okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, so which, yeah. which woods was it? The dark ones. The dark, the big dark ones? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right off Highway Five. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be there. I've got another call coming in. Okay. Um, but I'll I'll be there in like 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right. Um, hello. Hi, Carol. Uh, yes, this is she. Carol, hi. This is Dr. Jensen. Sorry, I'm a few days late. I know I said uh, same same evening, and I don't even know what day it is anymore. Busy office. Um, uh, but test results came back. Okay. Um. Not as specific as you probably would hope. It's oh, generalized okay. anxiety is what I'm reading here on the paperwork. Oh. So, yeah, I know. Oh, man. Okay, so... I knew you were hoping for something a little more clear. Yeah. Um, but just based on all... You were... Some results you had, you were... You knocked it out of the park. And some of them, uh-huh. it's like, this person is completely stuck. Yeah, um, that's kind of, I mean, that's like kind of how I feel a lot of the time. It, this is this is really making me... Oh man, this makes me feel a little, a little uh, sick to my stomach. Sure, sure, and that's that's normal. Um, um, yeah, what okay. is also normal is this phone ringing off the hook. So I, I got to take another call. But I, I have will. I'm gonna get back a to lot you. Of follow-up questions. Hundred percent. We'll panel uh, that. We'll table the panel. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um. Uh, gotta go. Click. Hey, hun. Hello. Oh, hi, sweetheart. It's the Crystal Heels Bar. Hey, I think what's I just up? Your ID. Ah, shoot, Chris. Tall. Crystal, sorry. Heels I bar. I am often too fast with familiarity. I'm, I'm not Crystal. I'm not the bar. Oh. Crystal heel. Clear heels. Crystal heels. It's See, an I thought object. It was, I, you know what? I always thought of it as bar. You healing others. Anyways, because, sweetie, I think yeah, I found your ID. It. Okay. I just need you to tell me your name, your address, and uh, what state your license is from. Okay. To confirm uh, that it's you. It is Rasmus Jensen. Uh, Dr. Rasmus Jensen, you should see it there. Hair, bro. Eyes, bro. Um, five, eight. And I'm at two, two, three. Oh. Uh, I've been, I'm hearing. I'm oh, hearing honey, like it's I have, like cutting I have your it. whole wallet. Come uh, on by when you need it. All right, I got another call. See you later, hon. Thanks. Thanks. All right. All right. Hello. It uh, seems like it might have uh, disconnected us. Dr. Jensen, you said I just need your name and your address for to wire this money to your other account. Oh, yeah. It's Dr. Jensen. Um, my hair is bro. <laughs> my eyes are bro. I'm 5'8". Okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 We two, do require two. height here at this bank. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So my address is 2'2". Two, hey, two. Yeah. I'm sorry if I, this is coming off a little weird, but you have just an amazing like voice like i would are you an audiobook reader you want to climb into it yeah i mean people say all the time i want to climb in your voice sound like they always say i want to climb into your voice and may the dark lord be with you (laughs) you know what it's because the dark lord voices are usually may the dark lord be with you and it's like Mm chocolatey and i feel that from you i get it uh anyways twenty thousand dollars into it wired it's been wired great Oh, so sorry. Thank you so much. I, I'm going to take this other call. Do you have an Instagram? Hey, um, you were so right. That girl was no good for me. I, 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 uh, you, you know how to read people and like whose mojo is not going to mix. It did uh, not work. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you, uh, I mean, you're at the bar right now? Yeah, that's where I am. I'm working. Uh, that's, oh, uh, I, I'm going to come back because I, I, I want to like kind of unpack this with you. Like you, 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 you read me like a freaking book so Geraldo Geraldo yeah you know yeah. we don't open till 10 I know p.m. and I will wait okay I'll open the door at 10 p.m. hey um can I just uh is it about my voice it's, yeah uh uh-huh. it's um it's a little spooky uh just how Mm-hmm. Do you do you practice like? Want to just climb into arts? my voice? I, I do. Um, mm-hmm. I'm I'm so sorry, but I I uh, I'll see you at ten. But I I um, I got another call. I'm gonna I I'm gonna have to let you go. All right, I'll see you then. Okay. Hello. Okay, Geraldo. I know I know that you said not to call, but I just I I don't think things are over between us, and there was just something that I had to say to you. <sighs> 
I'll see you tonight. I'm going over. <laughs> do not. Do not. I'm I, going it, over. Things are moving too fast. You go too emotionally deep too quickly, I okay? So I need I need it. I need space. I don't think you do. I think that I think Megan, that just Megan, my Geraldo, I think Somebody. This is, I think this is it. This I got some. I got some perspective person. and some good advice. And I think maybe. Oh, I, th- I think maybe you're bad shit. Who, who gave you this advice? <sighs> my bartender. Who? My, my my regular. I, I'm a regular at a bar, and I, I, I the bartender gave me some that advice. That is so hot. <sighs> well, look, she, she said. She said. You sound so down. When when I was talking about you and then you're you know like that kind down, of down down to be together, yeah, Megan. I I, I it's just down, it's down to, for us to be we to be a couple for the rest of our lives. We knew that we I were just, risking ruining a good relationship or a good friendship. Okay, that's a type of relationship that we can still have. I just need but it. I need, I need some it. space right now. I and just, and I I, I need just. and I have another call coming in, so okay. I'm gonna have to let you go, Megan. I'll see you tonight. I hope not. Hello. Hey, um, Mr. Schnoz? Yes. This is I, uh, Geraldo this is Schnoz. <laughs> it's a good time to talk. I have, uh, that estimate that you requested, it's ready. If, uh, you'd like to review some numbers. Oh, yeah. Uh, so the property... Uh, it's vacant. Uh, it's zoned for a sex dungeon. Um, and we got the city permits. And we're ready to break ground whenever, uh, you're ready to get this thing going. Huh. And uh, just how do you suppose we go about doing that? <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm ready to dig in, but I, I'm feeling a little bit of, I don't know, I can't tell if it's judgment or flirtation coming from you, but I just... You want to know what it is? I've had, a, I've had some bad relationships recently, and I just don't want to get in bed, so to speak, with, oh, with, with somebody uh, that doesn't, you know, respect... I, what you're feeling for I, me, I, I sir, please, I, I would never mix uh, business with pleasure. What you're feeling for me is a slight tinge of jealousy because I've never had the guts to go for it like you are. I mean, I respect the hell out of you, man. Can you not call it a dungeon? Well, it's 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 more of like a. I'm just reading the estimate. It says sex dungeon on the. Uh, uh, what? I can change the estimate if you'd like. Would you like sex palace? Uh, that, my my word, yes, yeah, sex palace or. Okay. Or, uh, hang on, better, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna rework that quote for you, and then uh, uh, get back to you with the sex palace. Uh, I'm really looking forward to starting this. Uh, I got another phone call. I gotta go. Hello. Oh my god, I almost hung up. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I was I, talking to another client. Oh god, I, no one ever answers that late into the, the ring. I know. I got it right before. Right before. God. Okay. Um, anyways, you're you're ten minutes late for your therapy. So I thought oh. I'd call and see you're okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, can we do this over the phone? I'm kind of yeah, not nowhere near the office. I, I wanted to see if you're okay, and we can easily do it over the phone instead. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get started. Um, let's I did, pick up where we left off. I did the worksheet. Did... Okay. And how how does it feel to uh, speak to yourself that way? Not good. Uh, turns out that uh, it's really hard for me to be in a relationship with myself. Yeah. And I think that the, that's a reflection of my difficulties being in relationships with other people. Um, oh, I am so sorry to do this to you. What? I didn't think you were going to answer. So some of another you patient didn't is think calling, I was answer a and I gotta from my take therapist? it. It's, I gotta take it. I will call you back. What do you mean, call me back? I'm not paying for this. <laughs> I'm in love. Hello? Are you there? I'm in. I know. I'm I did sorry. pick up. Hello. You picked up? I did I'm pick in up. Love. I got it. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to fall in love uh, when you're doing phone calls at the bank, but Remy, uh, I can't help it. I think I think I found her. I just gotta track that voice. I gotta do some computer modulations and track it down. Remy, what did we talk about last uh, session? We don't, we don't track people we modulate. love. We don't computer modulate for the people we love. Yes, it, you wanna. You actually want the relationship with the real person. Yeah, I, I you want. You don't want to. You don't want the relationship with the voice modulation out of an AI. And create an AI robot. Yeah. I know, but yeah, I don't know. I think I could make it work this time. I think. I think this is it. If, if this is. You know, when you finally make the right ingredients and it makes the right food. I, I, I gotta go. <laughs> what? Hello. Oh uh, yeah, I um. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the bank that uh. I was trying to reach the uh, the bank. Yeah, this is this is it. This um, is the bank. 
Yeah, I was just, Remy um, speaking. Hey, hi, Remy. Uh, I was just wondering, like, what kind of, um, I was just wondering if I could ask some questions about, like, what kind of security you have and, uh. It just um, depends on what day of the week you want to come in, you know. Okay, yeah. You know, like, like 2 p.m. is a pretty lax yeah, hour. Everybody's usually at lunch, so. 2 p.m. people are at lunch and, uh, hey, do you, do you have, like, security, security guards? <laughs> um, yeah, we how, have. How many people are, like, usually. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm about four to five people at the bank, and don't tell anyone. I usually take a nap around that time. Okay. Anyone, anyone, anyone armed or? Oh uh, well, you know, this is an open carry state. So we don't know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, anybody could have one at any time. Uh oh. Okay, yeah. So you're never really safe. And then, like, you know, uh, what sort of like protocols do you have um, in an emergency? Uh, what kind of uh, is there like an alarm? Are you a customer at this bank? Oh, that's like, a great question, man. I, I would answer it, but I actually have another call on the line, so I got I gotta go. Hello. Hey, this is Jen from Zach to Jansen's office. Oh, hey, uh, hey, Jen. Yeah, I'm just calling to confirm your appointment tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Are we still good for 10.30? Yes, uh, I'll be there at 10.30, and, um... And you know you have to fast beforehand. You can't have any, no liquids. Yep, I... I no I, liquids. I understand, and, um, I'm just hoping that I can be kind of, uh, on, on to my next thing around, like, noon, noon, 12.30 at the latest. All right, well, I mean, we try to run a tight ship, but sometimes, you know, the doctor runs behind. I just, I hey, have a couple Jen, of... Hey, Jen, um, yeah. should, should I be worried? You know, like I'm, I'm kind of in a, in a scare right now. Look, you know, just I like, don't really know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a nurse, and so I mean, I'm. But, gonna... the, but this is like mandatory. The doctor said that like I have to right. come in right. for something. Right. You know what? So this like is the thing. Kind of freaking out. Okay, right. hold on. Wait, I have to go. I, oh, let me just I have to step away to from family. the desk. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen. It's not good. Oh God. You should be scared. It's that. You know what, though? I'm going to have to call you back. I have another call on the other line, and this is important. So, okay, okay bye. Hello? Hello? I swear this game is not fair. Oh, my God. Jerry? Is that you again? Yeah. I just feel like you sent me on a scavenger hunt that isn't real. It's not that it's not real. It's that it's, like, partly just in your head. I don't... I don't know what that means. Like, there's tangible things, and then there's intangible things, and then there's, like, stuff that's made up, and then there's just stuff that's in your head, and they're different. Okay, well, I've been going around town, and I'm pretty sure yeah. I found a rock that's part of it. Okay. But it was next to a bunch of other rocks that yeah. didn't seem like they were part of it, so I left those behind. Can you mm. give me, like, a hot or cold? What, what, if you were to describe the tint of the rocks, would you say they're, like, umber? What? No, they're gray. They were gray rocks. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you're not close. Hang on a second. I gotta, um, I gotta go. All uh, right, you call me when you find the umber. Okay. <sighs> okay, hello? <laughs> you're a muppet, you muppet ass motherfucker. Ah, you missed my bachelor party to go do some dumbass scavenger hunt. I'm doing 160 horsepower on I 65. Wait, <laughs> what? On what, 100? That's a unit of. What are you. Is this. Are you. Did she put you up to this? Are you part of it? I'm a part of my bachelor party. Hey, homies, say what's up to the to the fam right now. Yeah, yeah, that's all the fun you're missing. I'm going 180 horsepower. Ah. Gary, that sounds like it's a lot of fun, but if I feel like if I don't, this is like a test. You know, when you're in a relationship, well, you don't know, but you'll know. You know what's a test, dude? When your brother asks you, hey, do you want to come to my bachelor party? And when your brother's like, nah, I got to go do a scavenger hunt. You know, fuck you, man. Hey, man, Terry, don't Beep. Ah, uh, hey. Hello, this is Dr. Benson from, uh, from, uh, the equine veterinarian. I uh, just wanted to let you know one of your stallions does have generalized anxiety. You're going to need to keep him off the road. Uh, have you been speeding with this guy? Have you been, I mean, what have you done? Because he will barely let me pet him. Ah, it's my bachelor party. You know, I, what happens at the horsepower stays with the horsepower. Ah. Yep, I can hear the rest of the team panting and panting over the phone. So, I mean, I, you get to treat these animals with more You're respect. a Muppet, motherfucker. Hey, what's up? Hey, man, it's me again. I just want you to know I didn't want to do the scavenger hunt. I had to. You said it yourself. I nah, had to. Nah, nah. You're about to get married, man, and when these tests come your way, you're going to have to pass, or else that marriage will end. You I'm know what I mean? I'm not like you. You're a Muppet. you got to hand up your your body, and they're, you know, they're deciding the dialogue for you. There's something I wanted to say to you ever since we were kids, man. 
Trains are topsy turvy today. Oh yeah? Trains are topsy turvy today, not on my track. It's straight now. Okay, well I hope you have a lot of fun with your boys. I got another phone call. I gotta be Don't up. you dick. Hang up, babe. Hello? Hey, it's Jackie. Uh I'm I'm coming into town this weekend. I just kinda wanted to see if you wanted to get together. Um have you um you did, have you, know, you right? was this a bad I'm sorry, so sorry. Was this a bad time to call? Um I don't know how to answer this question. Uh, because I don't Ah. Uh, still don't have keys that work. For for your apartment? You still don't have keys that work? I thought that you Do you know my wife Janice? Do you know my wife Janice? Uh, you know well okay, so this was part of the funny thing, was that like I haven't met Janice in person yet, but like I feel like I know her. I mean because you know what she always says. Unfortunately, we can't confirm your identity for the wire transfer because you're on your parents' phone. <laughs> See. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! And the last last sentence was a phone a phone <laughs> reference. It would have been would have been really great to have this be the opening line. Yeah. That. Well, we were doing wire transfers. Yeah. And yeah. That, that whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think what we'll have to do is I'll have to like add a sound effect to, uh, in post to be to either like a rustling paper or yeah. like a bell to yeah. signify when we were Coming. adding the sentences because I there's some of those where where, where uh, the listening audience will be like what it's just yeah just yeah. in between enough to be like what's that one um, yeah this is so much fun um, and uh, yeah that's a wrap. Woo! 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 Thanks for listening to this episode of Sounds Funny Radio, featuring Abby Hepworth, Florence Freeba, Mike Warner, Raul Magyar, and Sunny Outlaw. Subscribe to the show so you don't miss an episode. And while you're there, leave us a rating and a review. It's the easiest way to support the show, and it's entirely free. On the other hand, if you're into giving us money, we're into it too. You can support the show for just a few bucks a month by joining our Patreon. In return, you'll get full-length bonus episodes every month featuring a variety of alternate show formats, experimental games, live show recordings, and more. Follow us on social media at Sounds Funny Radio. And once again, go to soundsfunny.pizza to see when we're performing this show live on stage. Sounds Funny Radio is produced by Brian Flaherty, Raul Magyar, and me, your host, James Quesada. Our associate producer is Colin Dworski, with additional audio assistance from Chris Agar. Our executive producers are Mark Evan Jackson and Nate DeFort. Thanks again for listening to Sounds Funny Radio. 